U.S. Open title holder, Lindsay Davenport. And the number 25 player in the world, Elena Dementieva. Dementieva, the youngest of the four semifinalists, only 18 years of age, the only unseated player trying to upset this woman, Lindsay Davenport, who played brilliantly in her quarterfinal match, dismissing the defending champion, Serena Williams. As we welcome you back to our live CBS coverage with Mary Carrillo, Elena Dementieva. She comes to New York. Despite a good game, she doesn't have a sponsor, an agent, even a clothing racket deal. I mean, what's going on here? <laughs> That's very, very true. You know, Anna Kornikova is the famous blonde Russian uh, in women's tennis. Um, but Elena Dementieva, you're right. I mean, she's just sort of come in here. Not a whole lot of uh, advanced publicity on this kid. What kind of game does she have? She's got a nice looking game. She's got a, and she will be rewarded generously after this year's U.S. Open with sponsors, sponsorships of all kind. She's, she's not your classic banger. I mean, you know, she's got more than that. As you can see, she's a graceful mover on the court. She's very, very big off the ground. I mean, this is the best part of her game right here. Is her, is her ground game. But she moves very, very beautifully. I'm not sure if she moves quickly enough to chase down all the firepower of Lindsay Davenport. Uh, that will be a big problem for her. Another very large problem for Elena Dementieva is that I don't think her serve is going to be good enough against the Lindsay Davenport return. Lindsay going up against one of the very toughest servers in women's tennis the other night, Serena Williams. I mean, she was all over it. She was just snacking on serves, and I think she will, she will do the, very much the same to Dementieva, put a real dent in Dementieva's service game. They've played each other four times before. In fact, three times, Lindsay Davenport has already faced Dementieva on a hard court, and uh, she's won easily. And I think that will be really the measure of the match. Dementieva just trying to hold serve, just trying to stay with Lindsay Davenport so she can really make a match of it. Dementieva said, I know, how, I know her game, I know how she plays. She hasn't figured out how to beat her yet, and I'm not sure she could do it today. I'm not really close to Anna Kornikova. First of all, there's that whole language thing. A P.E. ratio is price divided by earnings. Earnings per share is a company's net income minus preferred dividends. It's like she's speaking a different language. Can anyone say asset allocation? Mid cap, small cap. When we created a smarter kind of investment firm, growth fund, we created a smarter kind of investor. Besides, some of the other players are kind of jealous of her, you know, portfolio. She is the only woman to have won a Grand Slam title each of the last three years. There's her trip to the semifinals. Well, she had to mix it up with uh, Kim Kleisters of the, the, the Netherlands. That was uh, really an, an awful fun match to watch. Kleisters is someone to watch for sure. Elena Dementieva came to New York seated uh, or ranked 25th. She'll be in the top 20 after a performance here. She's tall as well at 5'11 from Moscow. She is the first Russian woman to reach the semifinals of a U.S. Open. And she's had to beat some pretty good players as well, Dick. I mean, it, it's been impressive watching her. She beat Conchita Martinez easily. Uh, not a good performance from the seventh seed there. And then Anka Huber in the quarterfinals. Dementieva, this is her best ever performance in Atlanta any Dementieva tournament. To serve. She did make it to the semifinals wow. at Indian Wells, where she beat Huber and Deshi and Rubin. Off the baseline. Ooh. And she's quick. But <laughs> and the double fold and Davenport breaks at love to take the early lead. Fifteen love. And starts with a skitter off the center line. Game Davenport. Coming to CBS, they want grandkids. Their daughter wants an education. This fall, the generations clash on the new drama, That's Life, Saturdays, this fall on CBS. On the scoreboard. Oh, blistering. Thirty. 
40. Double fall, and Lindsay Davenport has leaped to an early three love lead against Elena Dementieva. Off the service 30. line, 30 love. Foul the way, 40 15, a point. Just almost knocking the racket out of her opponent's hand. Robert Van to Randhoff has been such a tremendous force in Lindsay Davenport's life. That Lindsay's mom right next to him. 15 on. And uh, so when she finally got her chance and won a gold medal, it, I, I think that just took her from one level to another. She, she then became the mature, I think I, you know, went from I think I can to, hey, I am good. And I've won uh, something that my whole family is proud of, and now she gets to defend. Hey, back to back. Wow. And again, Davenport for the second time thinking she got hooked on a call. Look at that. Goes after that one. Deuce. <laughs> Advantage Davenport. Oh, she's this is a total totally comfortable experience for Lindsay. Oh, give her a winners. Dementieva. And holds. It's 4 1. Opening set. CBS Sports coverage of the Open continues after this word from your local station. set. The sounds are frightening. 34. Caught the baseline and Dementieva coming off with it there. Advantage Davenport. She's quick to Mentieva, but again, Davenport's just the heat on her shots robbed you of any kind of time to, to take control of a rally. Oh, that's an amazing shot. That's a tough way to do business. Falling away from the ball, well beyond the baseline, trying to come up with a cold winner. Elena 
to Mechieva. 73 set points. It's Davenport leading 5 2. The opening set against Elena Dementieva. That's only the third point won by Dementieva on a Davenport serve as Venus Williams comes to work here in Flushing Meadows. You see. Bounced in. Oh, unfair. Net cord baseline winner. But she had a couple of unforced errors in that last game, and she's had things are getting a little sloppier. She want to tighten this up. Thirty on your own. Forty. Thirty. Fourth set point. Her third. Game and First Elena Dementieva has held to open the second set. You know, Pete Sampras has never won in this in this stadium, Dick. Fifteen long. He'd kind of like to change that this year. Yeah. Venus Williams can uh, she keep the title in the Williams clan? in the match now I mean this uh, it's hard to play big babe tennis against Lindsay Davenport I mean the biggest babyest big babe player of them all <laughs> uh, Dementieva tried to break up with the point here but uh, not enough feel on the run from her The service line with the ace, her first, surprisingly, holds it love. One all in the second set. Wow. Taking three, four lessons a week. That goes out. That's what I like about the Williams sisters. She does not own a 102 mile an hour serve, and that's what she just tried to go for. And that will be, I mean, that uh, in the coming years, we'll see how good Elena Dementieva can become. But first and foremost, I mean, if I were coaching this kid, I'd, I'd make that serve a weapon and make that second serve something far less attackable than it is right now. Wow. That was nicely done. Erasing a break point. See now she was much better set to hit a little bit of touch. Open up the point with that. This kid's good and she'll be, get better. Her fourth ace of the day gives her a game point. A late call. of whistles follow it. Well the act of you Mac Cam says it kiss the back edge of the line. Act of you Mac Cam says it should be game for Dementieva. Addition it is to the television viewing of this sport. And 
the double fall. Game That's down. the third game, service game she's lost with a double fall at game point. So she's got a nice little streak going in Grand Slams. Three straight years. Pretty long rally finally decided by this shot squirts it down the line. Mentieva thinking she got hooked on another call. This young woman was watching the open on TV just two years ago. Game devil. 3-1 now, Lindsay Davenport up a break, up a set against Elena Dementieva. Another line hit by Lindsay Davenport, although Dementieva doesn't think so. They've been there. You do Matt Cam uh, built into the walls here at Arthur Ashe Stadium to get that uh, perfect angle. And Dementieva with a solid hold. It's 3 2 in the second set. Davenport won the opener 6 2. And Davenport serves. John McEnroe joins us. You've been off doing some. Uh... Look at that. Game Davenport. At Love Davenport runs her second set lead to 4 2. You felt like a college uh, football weekend. That's how the second week of the Open has been. And it, for Dementieva, it must be so frustrating. How many times has Davenport hit the baseline or sideline and then she gets the net court as well? It's so deadening, to say the least. <laughs> really made a match of this to me. That, that ball to be, ball, long, that ball be well long there. Second set. Point denied. By the way, Dementia Ava moves through these service points and makes Steffi Groff look a snail like. <laughs> she just can't wait to get the ball in the game air, Davenport. and she's lost another service game, and that means Lindsay Davenport will be serving for the championship. Come back with a little bit more to her game the next time. Boy, she's getting the calls today. Seems uh, every close call has gone to the veteran Davenport. Too little, too late, but not giving up. Get one lousy call. Not long, 
Looked like that ball dropped a tiny bit long. That's a tough one, though. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. Some nice speed footwork. She prepares nice and early for this. And and the double fall from Davenport. And good for you, the New Yorkers <laughs> say, for Dementieva. Ah, uh, look at that. Look at that nice shy smile from Elena Dementieva. Leads five three. Very shy and modest by nature, this kid. She's uh, cracking big serves that are going in. Yeah. That one, last one, 101. That one, 103. Look at that. And the crowd uh, increased in their support of Elena Dementieva. Back after this word from your local station. 15 long. Uses that height to full advantage. Only her second ace. It's why you get up two breaks, though, in case you get tight and blow one of them. That's so good! This point was won by Dementieva when she decided to stay home. And that's why she was able to get that shot. 30 on. It gave the fans a chance to cheer. <laughs> Wait a minute. Who's winning this match? Another break point for Dementieva. This is unbelievable. At 5-2 in this set, yeah, Lindsay Davenport had only lost two points on serve. Now look what's happening. Another break point chance for Dementieva. <laughs> That's a really wonderful to watch, though. What terrific strokes. Is this possible level in this? <laughs> She's got Lindsay a little jumpy too. Well, that's in case you're just joining us, what the first set and a half was like a soft second serve, and Davenport just crushing an easy winner. She's all over that, well inside the baseline.
deuce. When she can take it early like she does here, makes that volley. Has a chance one point away from 6-5. She's done it. Suddenly, Davenport will be serving to stay in the second set. to move the Davenport was doing to the second service of Dementieva for a set and a half. Ran around that backhand. She, took, she ran around that thing in a hurry, and Lindsay just not moving as well. The nerves had gotten to her. She just... Not an easy thing to redirect this cross court rally as she did here, Dementieva. At this stage. Four points all. Dementieva on both those points. And now Davenport has her fourth match point. for Lindsay Davenport as uh, Dementieva wastes no time in leaving. And uh, final she'll be back to her. You bet she'll be back, huh? So fast she got off the court, they couldn't even give her a round of applause. Watch for that landing match point for Lindsay. That lob, that desperate de defense, well, she'll take it. Talk so. about a third set being on the line. L-I-N-D-S-E-Y. That's how she spells her name. <laughs> she is happy to get through this. So Lindsay Davenport is our first finalist for this 2000 U.S. Open Championship. Will she meet Venus Williams or will it be Martina Hingis? They'll be on Arthur Ashe Stadium's court when we return. Lindsay Davenport beating Elena Dementieva 6-2-7-6. Sending it down to Pam Shriver, who's courtside with Lindsay. Thanks a lot, Bonnie. Well, everything was looking pretty routine there, Lindsay. 6-2, 5-2, 40-love. And then what happened? 
I, I wish I knew. Uh, all of a sudden, it was 5-2, 40 love, a lot of match points. And, you know, I didn't really get any first serves in from that point on for a long time in the match. And, you know, obviously, she started coming up with some better shots. And then I started pulling back a bit. And, and just the combination, it just kept snowballing and getting worse and worse till we were uh, even in the tie break. Similar thing happened down in Australia this year in the finals against Hingis when you were way up to, to win the match 5-1, got back to 5-all. You were still able to close out the set. So is it a positive in the end that you're able to win it in a tight one, or is it sort of a downer not to be able to close it out earlier? Well, it's it's a positive. I'm in the finals. That's great. And, um, you know, that's the one thing. Sometimes when I have a lead, I, I let off, and then once it gets close again, I'm okay. I, you know, it's not the best thing to do, and uh, hoping it won't happen again. But, um, you know, I, I played well 95% of the match, and I'm in the finals, and I'm healthy, and I'm getting out of here early. So uh, I'll, I'll try and take it as a positive, although I'm a little disappointed how it ended. Well, your opponent in the finals will not be able to get out of here as early. Hingis, Williams, it would be a different final depending on who you play. Do you have a preference which style? Well, obviously, if I play Martina, I'm the one dictating the points more. So that, I think, would be more to my advantage. And with Venus, she's been playing so well. And, and against her, it'd be a little bit, excuse me, harder to dictate the points. So, um, you know, b both opponents are going to be so tough. And I think it's going to be a close match. And I, I have no idea who's going to happen there. Now, a big deal has been made of this little alliance thing that you and Martina Hingis have been speaking a little bit on how to stop the role of the Williams sisters. Tell us about that. Well, of course, we don't want to see an all-Williams final when we're still in the tournament. Everyone's made such a big deal, and, and no player wants to see that because they want to be in the finals. So, I mean, Martina and I were joking about it, but, I mean, I want to be in the finals. I, I don't care who I beat to win the title. And, yeah, Martina's a friend of mine, but it's not like it's us against them. It's us wanting to get to the finals and them wanting to get to the finals. Good luck, Lindsay, going for your second U.S. Open championship. Thanks. Back to Bonnie.